Guys, they said, Kabye Isi was rushed for an emergency after receiving a parcel from Queen Naomi. Hey, hey. they said this is serious, so oh. very, very serious. <laughs> They say when this information, when this pastor got to Kabiesi through the eldest man in Ileife, Kabiesi was surprised, unlike when Naomi sending a pastor to him through an elder, an eldest man in their land. <laughs> they, at least it is obvious that that message is not a small case. Mm -hmm. They say Kabiesi was downfolded. He was frozen for some almost an hour. They say he was just looking he doesn't know what to say reason is because he have searched for queen naomi everywhere and there was no trace of her and tadenikawa the second was just moping he was just moping without saying a word then all of a sudden he almost slumped if not for some people that was around him they said the next thing they said his bp don't hide <laughs> His blood pressure don't rise. No be smart you know. As in. Hmm. When they went and called a doctor. Because it's like Dr. Lizzie too is not even around. Because if you check that uh, naming ceremony of uh, Oluri Ashley's son. I did not see Dr. Lizzie. Unless I'm the only one that did not see her. If you see her in that ceremony I beg. Let me know on the comment section. But to me. I did not see her. And we all know how that. Uh, she have threatened Kabiesi that if Naomi leaves, that she is also leaving. That is the information we got that day that Naomi left the palace. So right now, we don't know what the problem is exactly because Dr. Lizzie is Kabiesi's personal doctor from what we are hearing because she is not just doctor by education. She's also a doctor by profession, a medical doctor, you know. So, and ever since she came, she has been the one taking care of KBSC's health. So, uh, it's unfortunate that they said Dr. Lizzie too was not even around when this thing happened. That they have to rush and call the family doctor. And when the family doctor came, they said the family doctor confirmed that his blood pressure is a, a very, very high. That it is too much. They said they started telling KBSC, KBSC, what is this? If anything happens to you, what are you going to tell your ancestors? Eh? That because Queen Naomi sent your ring back to you. They said he wasn't saying anything. He was shocked because ever since all of this drama between him and Queen Naomi have been going on, Queen Naomi have not returned the ring the way uh, she did it this time. They say she have not returned the ring, but this time she returned the ring. And with all the news that is coming from both Odua Council of Chiefs and uh, other people, including his godmother, Reverend Esther Ajay, who have warned him to stay away from Queen Naomi, that this is out of, getting out of hand, if, that if Queen Naomi happens to be Diola or Princess Adewa Miwa, is he going to allow any man to treat her like that? That this is beyond him, beyond her. So he should let Queen Naomi go. But we all know why he is like this. If all the information we are hearing is the truth, uh, he is like this because of the oath and because of the fact they said the gods are angry with him. That's why the dark cloud in the palace have refused to go. So, <laughs> information have you that when this uh, doctor came and confirmed that his blood pressure is very high, uh, they gave different medications as they are supposed to. They even called his uh, uh, herbalist because he have a man, a very strong herbalist who gives him helps anytime he has any issue, health issue like this. They said the, herb, the herbalist brought different herbs. They did everything and yet nothing changed. The doctor did his own, uh, applied his own English medicines, all the same. There was no improvement. KBC was just uh, looking at them. Yeah. At that point, they said the doctor suggested that they should go and call Queen Naomi. And Queen Naomi should try and come to save a life, this and that. 
See, when I hear this one, I said, this is another trick from KBSA. Mm -hmm. This is another trick from KBSA to see, uh, to know where Kwenomi have been. And for Kwenomi to come again, but information have it that when they pass a message across, I don't know, maybe through Kwenomi's parents, I don't know, but they say the information got to, Kabi, to Kwenomi. Kwenomi said she is not coming. That uh, Kabi she should call either, I uh, should call uh, Olori Kalabash that she is a priestess. She can handle it. Let her come. Even that dark cloud in the palace, she is a priestess. Let her go and remove it. That she is not come. That Kabesi can try everything he knows how to do. That days are gone when he is shaked by Kabesi's condition. Not any longer. That she is not coming. That his sixth wife, whom he is very proud of, should be able to talk him into, uh, talk him out of uh, high blood pressure and all of that. That they mean the words to him and they give him happiness. So why would she be wasting her own time with him? That is just a waste of time. They shouldn't even think that she is coming because she is not coming. Kabi says she should go and carry his clothes where he betted. <laughs> yeah, my people, what I shall never ever do. When I hear this one, I say Kabi Esi have pushed Kwinami to the wall. And at this point, Kwinami have decided to fight for her freedom. The moment I heard that she returned that ring, I know that this lady have made up her mind. And the only thing that matters to me is her happiness. Whether she is with Kabi or not, what matters is that she is happy anywhere she is. And uh, several revelations have revealed that she is royalty and will remain royalty. If it is in Kabiesi's uh, palace, we do not know. If it is not, we do not know. The only thing that we care so much about her is let her get her freedom. Let her live a normal life like every other woman, hum, uh, woman you know, not a life of uh, being a sacrificial lamb. Because it, that is what it looks like here. Kabi, at this point, I don't know if I'm to doubt your love for Queen Naomi. Because love sometimes, when you claim to love someone and there is this kind of condition, you need to let go of certain things. If you don't make sacrifices for love, that is not love. When you love someone, you sacrifice things for that love to work. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.